Hello beautiful creative people. This is Kyla Givehand of Giving Hands Creative and I'm coming to you today for Book in a Day 2014, book number two for February. And today happens to be a Wednesday, which means there's going to be a hump day how-to video for that as well. So, today is February 26th. It's 4.58, almost 5 p.m. on a Wednesday. And I'll just tell you that I almost had a freak out moment today, about four hours ago, roughly, maybe five, um, where I realized I travel tomorrow to give a presentation in Texas, and which means, and I don't get back until Saturday, which means when I get back, February will be done. And I was like, oh my God, I haven't done booking a day. What was I thinking? This was totally not my intention to wait till the last minute. But once again, here I am, last minute, end of the month, last possible, last possible moment, right? But I never fear, I have an idea. I woke up this morning, one of the first things I do when I wake up is, you know, of course, my rituals have, you know, the brushing your teeth, all that part. But my, like, morning rituals include reading blogs that inspire me and um, checking my email sometimes. But today, I read blogs mostly and sipped some tea and just had a very quiet sort of morning with reading. And in doing that, I read one of the blogs that I read and follow is uh, Mary Nasser. She's a beautiful artist. She does a lot with maps and um, she even has some stencils through the Stencil Girl line that I'm going to show you in a second that are, that are map stencils. But she happened to be reviewing a book today. And that book is Make Map Art. And it happens to be a book that I owned that I had never opened. <laughs> Someone gave it to me as a gift. And very recently, like last week maybe, and two weeks ago, two weeks ago I got this. And um, I hadn't even opened this book. But there was Mary on her blog today reviewing the book and talking about it. So I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's a pretty cool book. She makes it sound really cool. So I came in, I opened it, I started kind of flipping through it a little bit. And I was like, okay, that is a neat book. I'll, you know, put it on my shelf, come back to it another time. Then I, was, then, then I had the freak out moment and I realized, oh my God, book in a day is today, I have to do a book. Well, if you have been following my blog, then you know that recently I interviewed my dear friend Lyle that you all have all heard about. If you've been watching any of the book in a day videos, I talk about Lyle a lot. Um, she's one of my inspirations um, to book art and just to art in general and how to make art and life work together. So during that interview, we talk about a book that Lyle's currently working on that she just finished. Um, we have pictures and we have a little video of her showing the book. So if you haven't checked out the blog post in the interview of Lyle, you should totally check that out. The, the structure that she did for the book she was talking about in the interview towards the end of the interview is called a flexagon and you all saw me do a flexagon um, last month it was the circle or last year it was the circle book full circle the one that flips open and does all the weird sort of stuff and I'll probably grab that in a second for you to see but that made me think oh how could I combine maps with the flexagon structure that Lyle's doing because it works perfectly, right? Perfect timing. I just did an interview with her. That's a book structure she was working on. It's a structure I did not do last year. I mean, I did the circle, but I didn't do a regular flexagon. So I'll be doing that. So I was like, this is beautiful. It's wonderful. It's perfect. It's going to work out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to follow. So this book, you should check out Mary's review of it because she does a better job than what I'm about to do. But this book has a lot of little... Um, ideas for our projects of maps that you can make that are personal maps personal maps to you and one of the ones in here is road it's called roads to happiness and it's like how do you make a map that leads to something like roads to happiness roads to blah blah so mine is going to be roads to creativity that's what i'm thinking of uh, and they even give you pages pieces of paper that look like maps like little backgrounds of maps I don't know if you can see the detail in that that was probably horrible but anyway you'll see it closer when I pull it to the table so these tear out each one 
comes out and I'm just going to tear one from the back instead of the front. They also have these stickers in here and a bunch of other neat little things that you can use uh, to make your own maps. So I'm thinking that that is what my book is going to be today. I'm going to take one of these pages and this is just regular old, there's a serious glare, right? Um, there's, this is just regular old paper. Um, and I'm, I may use this. I may not. I actually have some mixed media paper out that I'm thinking about using, but we'll see. Um, and then I have two of Mary's stencils, her map stencils. This is the Compass Rose. And then this is um, just like, you know, the shape of a map. I'll put a little piece of paper behind it so you can kind of see that better. All right. So I'm going to be using these to help with the sort of decorating part. And then I'm going to do, yeah, Roads to Creativity. And I don't know what it's going to be. So, in the spirit of making sure that I don't overload myself today on videos, I am going to fast forward through this video, but then the Hump Day How-To video, since today's Wednesday, will be how to make a flexagon. And I'll actually walk you through the process of making just the flexagon, where I walk through the, the, the directions and give you the fine details for that. Sound good? Awesome. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And I am off and running because I want to get this done because guess what? I still haven't packed to go on my trip. <laughs> so yes, it might be a long night. We'll see. All right, I'll see you back on the other side of book two for Book in a Day 2014. See you in a sec. Okay, so I want to do another time check just because 526, Wednesday, February 26. Um, I'm doing that because I had to change shirts and get some paper down on my table. and So anyway, I just wanted it to be a little more accurate in terms of when I actually started. And I had to play around with my lights because, well, we know that's always an issue in this room. So, okay, so here's my paper. This is roughly eight and a half by eleven. I think it's more like eight and two eighths by eleven. Eight and two eighths by eleven. Let's let's. How about we verify that? Eleven. Eight and two eighths. Okay, so that's all the technical terminology and details I'm gonna give. I'm gonna speed through the rest of this, and then in the next video. For hump, well not the next video, but in the hump day how to video, I'll actually walk through how to make the flexagon just using a blank piece of paper. I won't do any like art stuff with it. But for book in a day, I'm going to be using some spray inks and, like I said, the stencils from Stencil Girl that are um, Mary's stencil. And I think I have one stencil that is not a Stencil Girl stencil. I don't even know where this came from. Maybe Crafters Workshop. Not sure. Don't know. Um, so yes, that's my plan. So I'm going to fast forward and I'll see you back here on the other side of Book in a Day 2014, number two. So y'all know I'm planning this as I go. <laughs> I mean, I had a general plan, maps, flexagon. Uh, but as I was doing this, and I did the first spray of the stencil, and I, this bold line came through, you know, from the edge of the stencil. 
my first thought was, ah, I don't really want that. However, because it's maps, these are like roads, right? Going through the, oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm very happy about that. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and cut my flexagon now. And then once I have it cut, I will work with the main stencil that I'm going to be using um, with some actual acrylic paint, I think. So that's kind of the plan I'm thinking about. So here we go. So I'm pausing really quickly because I probably won't do this part in the hump day how-to, but I want to make sure you know what I'm doing. So I put I like to put these little sticky notes in each. So they're um, 12 squares that you end up with. And I like to put these little sticky notes in my squares and label what is what. Um, because once this flexagon is cut, it does get cut. Once it's cut, there it, it kind of things kind of can go awry at that, at that point. So just for my own sort of mental understanding of my flexagon and what the heck it's going to be doing, I like to put these on here, and I do it on both sides, um, and then I label what each one is going to be once the flexagon is done. Um, so, for instance, on, on one side, this is going to be, this will be square one on the left side. And then there'll be another, there'll be, you know, because there'll be three going down, and this will also be a square one on the left side. But this is going to be something different. Um, and my other one, L, is going to be this one. And I really hope this is right. Pretty sure it is. Okay, I'm gonna label and I'll be back. Okay, so I had to consult one of my book art books here um, because I it's a book by Elisa Golden and I didn't want to get this wrong, so I just double checked to make sure. So here's how everything is laid out, and I think I'll take a picture of this at this point, so just in case folks want to make one, they'll have the diagram they need. All right, be right back.
so I do not have content yet, but I just wanted to take off the pieces of sticky notes, which will probably end up in a collage somewhere. So you notice that I made a little, so the way the flexagon can work, um, you can put a strip of paper here, um, or you can use like linen tape or cloth tape, you know, something that will bend with you because the way the book works and I'm doing a lot of bending like you have to almost massage the book to get it to behave and play nice <laughs> it's a very uh, the, the precision of this structure is super important uh, one of the things that Lyle talks about in her interview the Q&A with her is craftsmanship and the importance of craftsmanship and that is a part of craftsmanship making sure things are um, really uh, measured properly and so those of you who follow me you know that I am like kind of willy-nilly when it comes to my measuring <laughs> I finagle a lot and I you know do what I have to do to make it work Lyle on the other hand is a true craftsman she her stuff is always like almost super you know exact and, and very pristine and beautiful uh, my work is beautiful too don't get me wrong I love my work I'm not um, no disparaging comments here about my work I'm just saying that she and I are different in that way and that she can measure things like to the 32nd you know uh, measurement on the ruler so anyway so let me get the rest of the so the way the way um, okay so the way the book works is you have your cover and I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna put content on these you have your cover it opens and then just when you think it's about to like pop, <laughs> it doesn't. It opens again. And I'm going to remove these from the inside. And you see I have a little bit of an issue there with tape, but never fear. I have a remedy for that. And then it does that flip again. Isn't that awesome? I almost feel like I should have left those there, but... It's not important at this stage of the game. So then this would be your last spread. So to get back to your beginning spread, you would just reverse that. And you do it twice. And that gets you back to the beginning. Ah, I love this structure so much. This is actually my first time doing one that is this shape, this squared shape. Sorry, I'm still massaging the book a little bit. Um, so I'm going to work on getting some content. I have no idea about a title. Um, I realize my squares are super tiny in terms of like using the compass rows. But I am going to play with this a little bit and see what I can't do. So see you back here in a sec.
Okay, so I want to do a quick sort of check in about where we are. I'm going to actually put just a piece of white paper under so you can kind of just see this without all the extra. There's, there's a lot of extra going on on the, on the uh, table here. So you notice that I did, I used paint on the inside and I wasn't actually very happy with it, but I'm going to go over that with some uh, black permanent pen so I'll, I'll be able to fix it to my liking but I wasn't happy with that so I switched to um, ink pads and these are stays on so they're permanent and then the last one I used was distressed black soot distress ink the Tim Holtz line from Ranger so this is my cover and then the book opens and there'll be my compass here and I think I'll have words going you know so I gotta do some text then it flips open and we have our blue maps and then I think I'll do text on these squares and then we have our green maps and I'll do text on these squares so I'm going to take a little bit of a break um, I want to do a time check and just see where we are because I'm feeling a little hungry so I think I should probably go eat and wash my hands and write some text so it is 7 708 is that right 7 crazy lighting 706 so I suspect I'll be back in about an hour see you back here in a sec okay wonderful people I am back to finish up the book it's 9.12. I think I did a little longer than an hour. <laughs> I got sidetracked with other stuff, thinking about packing and all of that. So, let's finish this baby up. One of the things I was thinking about while I was off camera um, is that I don't think I actually want to use any text. I'm thinking that I would much, much rather use images that are speaking to me as I look through this. Um, so yeah, so first I'm going to start with trying to um, just work with this uh, compass rose here. So I'm just going to do some light edging of this. It is time to show you the final result of book two, 2014. It is, to do a time check, it is 10.33 p.m. And the book is done. I'm calling it Destination. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I love, love, love this little map. I probably could have made this piece go all the way to the edge there, but... You know, hey, it is what it is. It's not uh, necessarily a bad thing. So it's just something that's standing out in my eyes. Like, oh, I could have put that all the way over. But it's all good. Okay, so the flexagon structure. It opens. And then this page opens more. And I love this. This is my, I love this spread. I think it's, I think it's Mary's, uh, repeated stencil that I used here with the blue stays on ink. Something about that just pops off the page and it's really beautiful to me. And then we get one more fold and this one just says inspire. Again, same stencil, different portion of the stencil um, and I used green for this one. So, 
I started to do more on this, but I really liked the word inspired just on this spread by itself. I thought that was pretty profound. And so then this one says, believe in yourself, think outside the box. I thought that was perfect because these are like little boxes. And then go for it. And then on the compass rows, we just have a bunch of different directions. Create, heart, live, dedicated, happy, hope, prepare, and success. And then the beginning of the book. Destination. Yay! Book 2, 2014 is done. So I want to thank, I want to do a big thank you to Lyle for joining me for the first Q&A of uh, a book art or bookmaker for this year. We will have several others. Um, just to give you a little bit of sneak peek, the next person that I'll be interviewing will be Kat Howard and she is an amazing book artist. Um, and We'll have some stuff up for her in March and then we'll do the follow-up in April and then there'll be another person in April. I have some folks lined up that um, are, their work is just going to blow your mind. So stay tuned, keep watching, make sure you sign up for the blog so you can be notified when all of that's happening. Go over and check out the blog where Lyle is. Lyle and I are, are having a Q&A so that you can post a question to her. We will be doing a live follow-up uh, where you'll actually get to see her talking and chatting about all of her work and answering your questions. So please make sure you post some questions over on the blog in the comment section. Um, and of course you know there's going to be a giveaway. There's always a giveaway. So I look forward to that. Um, in a few days here next week maybe oh coming up soon so you have until March 1st to get those questions in to make a comment so that you can be entered into the giveaway if you um, want you don't have to have a question you can just leave a comment that'll enter you in the giveaway uh, and what else oh I want to thank Mary Nasser for her, her amazing uh, review today that reminded me of this book that someone had given me as a gift uh, that was just kind of sitting to the side I hadn't even Oh, cracked it open yet so thank you Mary for bringing this back to my attention and for sharing your review of the book with the world um, I really love that so thank you for your blog and to Mary thank you for the wonderful stencils that I used today um, I got them from stencil girl and I was inspired to purchase these because I saw them on Mary's blog I saw her using them and I was like oh my god maps I'm so in love with maps and their stencils so I bought these two specifically because I saw them on Mary's site so thanks Mary and um, yeah so I will put all the links for everything that I for most of the stuff that I use I'll put the links to stencil girl products um, for these stencils and I'll put the link to Mary's blog where she's reviewing the book I'll put the link to my blog where Lyle and I are having a conversation and you can see Lyle's version of the flexagon um, so yeah it's been a, it's been a wonderful quick easy book to make um, possibly something you could do with kids older kids I think could probably handle this pretty pretty easily and they'll love the sort of magic quality of the book right that that flip and fold that it's doing that magic part so signing off this is Kyla Givehan of Giving Hands Creative. This is book number two for 2014, Book in a Day. Please go out, create something beautiful this week. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Hump Day How To, where I give you specific directions on how to make a flexagon book. Bye now.